Hi guys, Mama Mita here, and today I have a little video for you, and this one is still in Mexico. We are still in Mexico. We have taken the Uber down, and we went about, probably about 45 miles uh, down uh, on Highway 1D. Now, we are heading to the wine country. Most people do not know that there's over 100 wineries around this area. Now, one of those wineries that we are going to be visiting today is Casa de Frida. Now, if you've seen the movie Frida, then you know a little bit about Frida. If you've not seen that movie yet, uh, Frida was a, a child that was born in Mexico, and she had polio as a young child. But she did get better, and she was destined to go off to medical school. But on her way, uh, I don't, I'm not sure where she was heading to, but at the time, but she had an accident in the bus, and so she got severely injured, and she had long, uh, she got lots of problems with pain and suffering and stuff, but she returned back to her passion of uh, painting and art. So you will see uh, in this video, you will see some of the colorful artwork that they have on display. Now, in her hometown, I believe there is a, a museum that represents Frida and her artwork. I didn't see that yet, but maybe on my next trip down to Mexico, I might decide to take an Uber or if I can rent a car and go and maybe see that if it's not too far away. But anyway, here's the video. Enjoy it. Thank you guys. Now, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate you guys watching my videos. I appreciate you being patient because, I, you know, I've gotten a little a problem with medical issue. And so I'm just now getting back to try to get in the swing of things all. So thank you guys so much. I do truly appreciate this. country here and so we're gonna be touring this wine place here and then we're gonna maybe probably have some lunch beautiful landscaping my goodness wow look at this beautiful wall that they made And 
course, my favorite girl, Frida. You can rent a place to stay here overnight. Okay, so I am still at the uh, Casa de Frida for the wine. This is a winery. It's absolutely beautiful here. And this is the canopy, just like the gate when we came in. Sure would be a beautiful place to have some uh, weddings at. What's really interesting is they got the the, uh, the wines or the grapes all planted down here and at the end of the grapes is the roses. And here's another wall. This one here is the, I guess, the Frida Angel wall. Really nice though. She's just a really pretty place. Wouldn't that be a nice truck to drive around? And they got olives, olive trees here. And I'm not really sure what that one is. I want to say that's a pomegranate. But I might be wrong on that. But here's olives. And then there's some fruit trees back there. I mean, this place is absolutely beautiful. My goodness sakes. This path that you can walk all down there.
And it looks like they used a drip system here. No waste of water running on the ground. Just right straight to the tree. We've used the drip system before at the care home and it worked really well. Definitely a place to come and visit when you're in Mexico if you're down here like going to Cabo San Luca. So those are all of the things that they offer. They got tequila tasting here also. That's Frida's pickup truck. <laughs> I need a Frida pickup truck. And then you got more space here where you can sit down. So definitely a place to have a beautiful wedding. Yes. All right, so this is the bar section here. Let me show you this here for all the drinks. <laughs> and of course, a little cactus there. Look at those cinnamon sticks. <laughs> those are huge. 